Well, I founded uh, Empire in 2015. This is company originated in Kiev, Ukraine, right here in this my native town. I'm uh, heavily involved in the construction industry. I'm a civil engineer by trade, so I worked in different countries like uh, Canada, Switzerland, Australia. And when I got familiar with hemp uh, insulation technology, I realized that we can do great things with it and improve it. Back then I realized that we can create something new, something natural that is good for the people and the environment. That's when I started Empire in 2015. Right Right now it's been three and a half years and uh, we have uh, finished projects in different countries like Ukraine, uh, France, uh, USA, Poland, etc. Yeah, so we're quite happy with the progress and we want to expand into other markets as well. The technology of hemp grid insulation it's well known around the world. It's a rather new type of insulation product, uh, maybe about 25 years old. To be honest, our ancestors used to build using uh, industrial hemp and lime uh, centuries ago, but only now it's been amplified all around the world. There are other companies that produce different binding materials, but what's unique about ours, we have developed uh, a 100% natural lime-based binder. So there is no sand, there is no cement, there is no uh, toxic components that would other companies would put inside the binder to mix it with industrial hemp herds, the particles of hemp and water. So we realized we could develop something 100% natural and we have achieved it successfully. And with this uh, natural binder, we were able to decrease the density of the finished product, improving its thermal property. So that's very, very important. And by production of a natural insulation binder, we were able to decrease the density and therefore improve thermal properties of the final hempcrete product. Meaning that, you know, we're only doing good things for the people, for the buildings and for the environment overall. This type of insulation material, it's unique because it can regulate humidity inside the house. Instead of turning on different devices to do that, all you need is this material uh, to be installed inside your house, to, you know, to this material to be used in the construction of the, any type of building. So uh, it is a very hygroscopic material that means it can sequester moisture and then release it later on. Also, it has very high thermal capacity. It can store heat, unlike uh, traditional insulation materials. Also, it doesn't rot. It's not afraid of moisture. So you can build it in any country around the world. Uh, it's able to store heat. It repels pests because of the high content of limestone. Uh, so there is no uh, chance there is a, uh, there's going to be rats or mice living inside such house. Also very important, it's a non-flammable material. This material doesn't support fire. So that, that is very, very important to understand. And also it works great in the zones with the high seismic activities. Uh, we have done some tests. We built a house on the, on the trailer and we were bringing it uh, across the city with the f uh, freshly installed hempcrete that was only five hours old. So the, this whole structure was uh, full of wet mortar and it didn't fall apart. So it just shows the capabilities and the tensile strength of this material, even though it might seem like a very brittle one at first. So as of today, we have completed the projects in, uh, in Ukraine, in Poland, USA, uh, France. And of course, most of the orders are coming from Ukraine. Of course, we want to expand and we had a request from Japan. We would like to build in Japan and I was invited to speak at Hemp International Kyoto Conference in 2017. And I would like to come back and build something for Japanese people because they deserve something natural, something uh, that is helpful for the environment, for the ecology and for humanity overall. And uh, we're very, very much interested in expanding to the Asian market as of today. So basically, there are other companies that are producing binders for hempcrete technology, but our binder is 100% natural. Uh, then there are companies that produce traditional insulation materials. But as it stands today, the world is looking for the natural, biodegradable raw materials uh, to be able to build with. With our binder, we're showcasing that we're able to build structures uh, using only natural materials of any shape or form whether it's round, whether it's a square, a rectangular shape houses. So uh, we don't need to use what uh, traditional industry is offering to us right now. We can use only natural materials to go ahead and uh, build uh, uh, houses of different shapes and forms and build the energy efficient housing 
I'll keep repeating myself, which is great for the environment and the people overall. Uh, basically, hemp is a, is a planet saver. Look at the jacket I'm wearing. It's made out of hemp, 100% hemp material. So out of hemp, you can create over 20,000 uh, different types of products, including housing materials. What we're looking at today, where we want to produce different types of panels, hempcrete panels that would be able to insulate uh, high-rise buildings with. Uh, then we would like to produce uh, OSB alternative materials like particle boards with the hemp pressed uh, including live uh, resin materials. So it's not a material of the future, it's the material of the present. Again, we are proving it uh, with our numerous projects uh, across Ukraine and other countries. So you can be very creative. It's great for the architects. You can invent different shapes and, and this is great. You know, you can only use natural materials. You can uh, be very creative. Uh, it's a energy efficient materials which would save a uh, uh, very serious amount of money for the house owner. So there are so many ways to go with this hemp-based industrial applications and we would like to explore furthermore how it can work together for the benefits of our people. To cultivate industrial hemp it does not require a lot of it's a natural plant that grows without use of pesticides that's a very very big advantage it grows in different uh, climates it grows in Ukraine, it grows in US, it grows in Africa, it grows in Asia, it grows in Australia. So it does not require a lot of resources. It likes its water at the initial stage, but overall it reaches the height of uh, around four meters in about four months. It's a great crop with uh, plenty of biomass to use. So growing hemp uh, does not follow up with any criminal action, right? It's not related to criminal activity. It's an agricultural crop that grows again. Once again, I'll repeat myself, it grows all around Around the world and the farmers grow it freely. Uh, for example, United States of America just legalized cultivation of industrial hemp uh, just two months ago in December of 2018. So uh, anyone can grow. Ukraine uh, grows thousands of hectares. There is no point of smoking derivatives of uh, industrial hemp plant, you know, because you, you know, simply person will not get high. It's the same as comparing of smoking a, a lamppost uh, pole or, you know, or, or, or a sofa or a chair. You know, your person smoking industrial hemp will not get high. Our company is uh, offering the binder as well. We are selling uh, hemp herds, the derivative of a hemp plant, which would be used in our technology. We also have developed a mixer that we are selling. It's a special type of mixer. Uh, that is brought straight on the construction site and we put all our ingredients and uh, such mixer speeds up uh, the work of construction workers on, on, on construction site. We also offer consulting services and uh, we organize seminars all around the world. Sometimes I give lectures and uh, provide any type of help to people that are really interested in such technology and materials. So the hempcrete technology is unique because we only use natural materials in uh, uh, construction of our projects. So the material doesn't rot, it regulates humidity, it can store heat and then radiate heat, which uh, you know reflects in significant uh, savings, homeowners pocket money on heating and cooling bills. It regulates humidity, it repels pests, it's a non-flammable material uh, because there is a high content of uh, hydrated lime that we use inside uh, our mixture. So try setting something up on fire with lime. And like I've said, uh, it uh, provides alkaline environment because of hydrated lime, which has a pH of 12.4. If you look at the pH uh, scale of highly acidic and highly alkaline materials, this is an extremely alkaline material. So it ionizes the air inside premises. So overall performance, it's uh, unique with a really great high thermal properties for a natural material like this one. And what's also great, uh, one of the main advantages of uh, hempcrete technology is that it uh, cures once we prepare the mixture and we apply it on, on construction site, it hardens, it cures by absorbing carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. So the final product, the final insulation material, it has a carbon negative footprint meaning that it sequesters more carbon dioxide from the atmosphere than it emits during production and the lifetime of this material. And the reason for that is uh, industrial hemp during the growth, uh, during four, month, uh, four months period growth, 
it can sequester up to one hectare of industrial hemp can sequester up to 10 tons of carbon dioxide during the four month period growth. These are some incredible uh, numbers we're talking about if we're talking about the climate change and uh, lowering emission of carbon dioxide. So in hemp wire, we, use, uh, we also use hydrated lime, uh, but it's a pure limestone. Also, we add uh, natural uh, minerals, uh, which uh, help us bind particles of hemp together quite nicely. And uh, so, yes, we do use lime and we do use uh, natural elements uh, to bind things better. And the main advantage of our mixture is that it, uh, you need to, to use less of it per one cubic meter of production of the final product. Also, it's a great material to use in the zones with a high humidity. Uh, you know, our friends are building with uh, different, similar technology in Mexico in uh, Tulum in the areas with the extremely high humidity all around during the year. At first, hempcrete looks like it's a very brittle material with a very low tensile strength by adding industrial hemp fibers in the mix we create a great tensile strength for the final product so the uh, the idea for the company is to move forward and uh, start uh, building factories which produce our binder all around the world in europe asia north and south america and australia we already have uh, started uh, executing projects in the united states of america uh, we have registered our company in california and uh, we're planning to build the next facility there меня зовут Бойко Сергей, я собственник замечательного своего, своего дома, ключевой момент своего дома. 39 лет, женат, у меня 4 дочки и есть серьезные планы прожить долго и счастливо, что самое главное. Всегда хотелось в жизни, как-то я не представлял себе формулу на работу, домой, домой на работу. Ну, как-то эта формула меня немножко не впечатляла, а все лозунги, должна быть какая-то миссия в жизни, еще что-то. Всегда наталкивали на, ну, на, на поиск. И первый вариант такого, можно сказать, не пустого образа жизни, это был магазин органических продуктов питания. Но это было весьма хлопотное дело, для меня, как для мужчины, хотелось чего-то большего. И, опять же, помог кризисные времена в Украине. Хотелось понимать, чем бы еще можно было бы таким заниматься. И нашел в одного архитектора сферические дома, купольные, даже, можно сказать, яйцевидной формы. Ну и появилась идея, можно сказать, что то, что мы кушаем, влияет на нас, но и то, где мы живем, тоже влияет на нас. Ну и как мужчине хотелось более серьезных каких-то поступков. Вот. И решил рискнуть. Не имея средств в достаточном количестве, хотелось все-таки рискнуть. Начинал строить не с экоматериалов, потому что их и не было на самом деле. Не, не было такой смелой идеи в экостроительстве материала. А все материалы, которые были, они, ну, мягко говоря, не по всем параметрам подходили. Или с технической стороны. Допустим, если мы говорим о сферической форме, то есть, не знаю, каркасные, там, геодезические купола, там, еще какие-то, ну, это очень много соединений. Есть там, не знаю, японские, украинские пенопластовые дома, но это не экологично. Есть глина, пробовал с глины строить, даже сферические дома, но это весьма трудозатратно и холодно. Ну, и вот нашлась все-таки технология, такая достаточно смелая, я считаю. Это буквально несколько лет назад я встретился с этой технологией. Это смесь технической конопли на извести без грамма цемента. Ну и, сами понимаете, отсутствие цемента, это, конечно, ну, я бы сказал, подзадорило, наверное, меня. Сделать прям 100%. Вот. Ну и попытка реализовалась. Вот, как видите, дом такой есть. В этом году мы в него переезжаем. Вот, собственно говоря, материал достаточно твердый. Я надеюсь, что я избегу в этом доме Благодаря этому материалу всевозможных систем, которые жужжат, включаются, выключаются, осушают, освежают, регулируют микроклимат. Просто хочется, чтобы этот дом был вот как подзарядка для электромобиля. Ты зашел в этот дом и пошел в восстановительный процесс. Вот. И ты, где мы, мы же ленивые люди сами по себе, вообще лень самый двигатель прогресса. Вот. Ты зашел в это поле которая дома сформирована, и все. И, соответственно, мои дети, моя супруга, надеюсь, здесь будут чувствовать себя весьма прекрасно. Ну, а увидели люди, я в душе, не в душе, а по факту предприниматель, поэтому почему бы не строить такие дома, тем более запрос есть. Есть запрос на сферический, есть запрос на кубической формы, классические дома. 
Нету, наверное, цели строить сотнями домов, там, застроить всю Украину там, и ближайшие зарубежья или дальние. Но я думаю, что мы толкнем эту идею как таковую. И пусть ее подхватит, я не знаю, как можно большее количество людей. Ну, а мы свои какие-то средства заработаем в любом случае. Я думаю, что этих, в моей формулировке, какие-то средства э, нас устроят. Э, тренд серьезный. Рынок свободный, строим мы качественно, поэтому, я думаю, нам будет достаточно. Хочется еще, чтобы осталось время на пожить. Не только на построить, а на пожить, воспользоваться благами, собственно говоря, этого дома. То я, если я буду строить везде, то я построил дом, а жить в нем, к сожалению, ну, не смогу, если я буду везде ездить и строить, строить, строить. Хочется все-таки делиться этим опытом, делиться с другими строительными организациями, с другими людьми на других континентах. Пусть строят, и самое главное, что строят украинский продукт, между прочим. Мне это тоже радует, может я не из категории там, ультра патриотов, но все равно приятно, что это в нашей стране.